On thank to you. Madame Alaslip, please. Well, thank you very much. Um, Minister, could you confirm uh, by providing your calendar of the March 1st Ombudsman meeting in 2018? Uh, this doesn't affect the investigation. This is just to confirm that, in fact, on March 1st, 2018, you had a meeting with the Ombudsman. Would you please provide that to this committee? Sorry, Madam Chair. The uh, I have met me and met with the ombudsman on a many different uh, occasions. But one thing I can assure and you, and will you and provide your is, calendar to confirm what those occasions were? I can assure you that I have met with the ombudsman on many uh, occasions, and uh, and quite regularly, and to making sure. But it's extremely important that we protect the confidentiality of the conversations and the uh, meetings, absolutely, so that the people come forward. Could you please provide a copy of your calendar to this committee to confirm those meetings? Madam Chair, when it comes to uh, uh, the actual uh, meetings, I'm, I don't see the relevance of, uh, of the question here. Under the National Defense Act, you have the authority to remove the CDS from his position. Under the Defense Administrative Order and Directive Section 6.2, it states, and I quote, that upon becoming aware of alleged sexual misconduct, a commanding officer must consider whether it is appropriate to remove the respondent from a supervisory, instructional, or command position. Did you do this in the case of the allegations of sexual misconduct against the former chief of the defense staff? Madam Chair, first of all, to answer the question directly, as Minister of National Defense, you do not have the authority, authority to remove a chief of defense staff. But the one thing does. I can assure you that when it comes to any type of uh, information, any allegation on anybody was always quickly given to the appropriate authorities for the appropriate uh, investigation uh, uh, to take place. Le vice admiral Mark Norman a été suspendu dis was suspended by General Vance. In the 72 hours following allegations brought against him, uh, unproven allegations by the former uh, CDS. And you supported that uh, decision. Why did, not, did you not use the same standard for General Vance? Chair, it's extremely important that right now we protect the integrity of, of the investigation. Two weeks ago, Allegations were brought forward, and then now they're being properly investigated by the appropriate authorities. So are you saying, Minister, that Mark Norman's investigation was compromised because he was suspended from his position, and that's why you didn't want to pr con uh, risk the same thing happening in this investigation, and that's why you decided not to remove the former General Vance as position as CDS? Madam Chair, the premise of this question, I completely disagree with it. They're making a lot of implications in, in uh, here. And I can assure you that any time, if any allegations were ever brought to me, they were always very quickly taken to the appropriate authorities so that action could be appropriately taken. I take my responsibility when it comes to looking after our people extremely seriously, especially when it comes to hateful conduct, sexual misconduct. These are the type of things that we want removed. I want answers. Everybody want answers right now. Minister. And right now with the appropriate investigation, are we you, will get those appropriate answers. Minister, are you aware of the possibility of any other reports of sexual misconduct fraternization, harassment, or other inappropriate behavior by any of your general officers currently serving in the Canadian Armed Forces? And Madam have any other investigations or concerns been raised involving officers assigned to the U.S., NATO headquarters, or any other foreign assignment? Madam Chair, one thing we have to be extremely mindful, when it, we are not the investigative body that any allegations that any comes forward has to be given to the appropriate authorities. That's the process that we have, and it has to be independent of my position, has to be independent of any politician. 
so that they can be thoroughly investigated independent of any type of interference. And I can assure you, if any allegations were ever brought forward, it is always taken with the utmost seriousness. Minister. All right, thank you very much.